All right, y'all. So let me tell y'all what's going on in this situation. Okay, so in honor of Black History Month, I figured I'll show, share with y'all a little Black history. Let me tell y'all what we do around the table. Mm. Right. Yep. You're, you're getting your hair done in the kitchen, either a press and curl. You're getting your braids done. Normally, folks have food. I got the breakfast food, like, on the stove. And you sit and talk about your big dreams. <laughs> you talk about your big dreams. Uh, 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 All right, so uh, this is what we decided, Tyler Perry. Now we're hollering at you. Holler at your girl, Tyler Perry. If you, okay, let me just go ahead and put this out there. If you know Tyler Perry, if you are Tyler Perry, if you're a production assistant, for the Tyler Perry show. We have a a movie to pitch to you. We have several. We have several three. movies. We have three movies. We have or we have two. We, we have, have we have two mini series. No, this is the same thing. I know, but Ryan gets her own movie. Okay, no. She she's she's, she's being greedy. Okay, so we just have options for you to pick from Tyler Perry. So all right, so this is what happened. We're sitting around talking about dreams and how dreams have been fulfilled. And then you have like, how many generations? Three. Two, three generations right here of people. Like we could all be in the in the movie. <laughs> or you can cast us. Neil Long could play me if you would like. Like it's up to you. I'm not, I'm not. I'll play myself. I'm not choosy. Who will play me? Okay, I want the lady that... Uh... That plays on uh, Blackish. Oh, you want her to play you? I'll play myself. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll 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 cast her at a different time because uh, she's. The kids say, "My mom cold. Put some clothes on." Yeah, yeah. Ryan came down and was saying she was cold. My mama told her to put some clothes on. Okay, so this is what had happened. So your girl, Zandra Moten, author of the PCS season series and Big Dreams. All of the dreams that I had as a little girl has been fulfilled. Well, your journey is never complete, right? Sometimes you take a new route, there's a new road, there's new dreams to explore, and I am trying to get my books sold, right? I work for the government, so it's hard for me to sell my books to the government. I cannot um, approach them for my books. Big dreams. Okay, so these books right here are all about the military kid going through life experiences, moving with the military, not wanting to move, overcoming obstacles. I have not seen, Tyler, I have not seen a movie on any network dealing with the military connected child, dealing with deployment or dealing with, with people that look like us, number one, right? African-Americans. This one right here is is a win for sure. You can make a mini series. The first book I talk all about um what does it even mean PCSing? What does that even mean? So I talk about that. And considering um didn't you take over like Fort Mc Fort which fort is in Aniston? McPherson? Is it Fort McPherson? In Anniston? anyway, anyway, that's another story. <laughs> This one right here talks about the life of the military child living on post versus off post, moving to a new location, trying to find the right school district. Um, it talks about deployment, service and sacrifice, how kids go through school and, and celebrations and their service members not there. So this right here alone can be its own series. This book right here, Big Dreams, is all about a little girl, Wa, who... Um, Grew up in low-income housing. My dear mom, my amazing mom, raised six beautiful girls all on her own, right? And with the village of our um, project aunties and cousins and friends or whatever, um, my granny. So she raised us all on her own, single mom, six beautiful girls. And I talk about how I wanted to see the world and inspire others and so on and so forth. And that's what this book is about. And all of these dreams have been fulfilled. Now, my dream is to get these books out into the hands of people. And I need your help. I need help. I'm not afraid to ask for help. So when we were talking about possibly going on the Tamron Hall show or Good Morning America, then I thought, we thought, somebody thought, why not holler out Tyler Perry so he can make a movie out of this I stuff? I suggested the movie. Or play. Or play. 
we just need to build a legacy for these girls, Tyler Perry. And my mom was like, you would understand. Okay, so this is the first shout out, Tyler. We will be back with more. Just think about it. Just think about it. No pressure. I can come. I can drive to Atlanta and meet up with you. Like I'm only in Tennessee. <laughs> um, no pressure. Pressure. <laughs> no pressure, pressure. pressure. Holla at your girl, Tyler Perry. Let's let's make some magic happen. Oh. And she needs to she needs to start enrolling something. Yeah. I don't even have to be in the film. Like I you have can to. you can cast my role to somebody else. But I have to. But she would love to play the young Fleeky. Oh yeah, they called me Fleeky. You would love that. I feel like you would love that. My nickname <laughs> growing up is Fleeky. So on the count of three, y'all know what to say. Do y'all know what to say? Let's see if they know what to say. One, two, three. Holla at your girl, Tyler Perry. Perry.